this video is about adding more than two fractions. Finding the, the least common denominator for three or more fractions is more or less the same as finding the, else, the, the least common denominator for two fractions. Um, we have to prime factorize the three denominators and then we will find the least common denominator and then we have to multiply each fraction by this number over itself. Let me explain this. Okay, so our denominators are 5, 15 and 20. So if we prime factorize 5 5 divides 5 equals 1. Done. So 5 equals 5. Let us now let's factorize 15. 15 does not divide 2, but it divides 3. So we get 5. We divide 5, we get 1. So 15 equals 3 times 5. Okay, let's factorize now uh, 20. 20 divides 2, we get 10. Divides 2, we get 5. Divides 5, we get 1. So 20 will be um, 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, so our The common factors are, or there is only one common factor, it's 5, 5, 5. This is a common factor, okay? So the least common denominator will be 5, for sure. It's the common factor, and all the uncommon, so 3 is uncommon, 2 is uncommon, and the other two is in common too. So the least common denominator will be 2 times 2, 4 times 3, 12 times 5, 60. Okay, not bad. Least common denominator will be 60. So we have to go back here and we have to get a 60 here. 60 here and a 60 here. I'm going to rewrite them so 4 over 5 uh, plus 7 over 15 plus uh, 9 over 20. Okay, so we know that the least common denominator is 60, so we have to get 60s here, okay? I need a 60 here, so I have to multiply this number by 12, okay? So I'm going to multiply this number by 12. Of course, I have to multiply the top by 12 too. What about this one? The common denominator is 60, so I have to multiply 15 by 4. 15 times 4, we get 60. So we have to multiply the numerator by 4 too. What about 20? Well, we multiply 20 by 3 and the numerator by 3. Okay, now this can't be hard now. Um, so 4 times 12 um, 4 times 12 
4 times 12 we get 48 48 over 5 times uh, 12 we get 60 that was our goal to get a 60 done here is the least common denominator plus if we we were not getting 60 uh, something something was wrong obviously 4 times 7 28 over 60 plus uh, 3 times 9 27 over 60 okay we are okay now um, so we have um, 48 plus 28 plus 27 over 60 okay um, well you guys can do it 6 8 if I'm not wrong I'll get 103 uh, please check uh, over uh, 60 right over uh, 60 well okay and our final result since we cannot uh, reduce this fraction um, is 103 over 60 uh, 60 was our least common denominator so um, always do that okay if you have this to add three fractions okay you still have to find the least common denominator but this time you have to prime factorize all the three denominators okay and do not forget that the least common denominator will be the product of the common and uncommon factors so the common factors are the ones that will be here in every single number okay but use only one like here we use the common factor only once only once okay so it will be a product of the common factors and the uncommon factors so three two two and that will be 60 and then you have to go back to your fraction and multiply by the appropriate number to get uh, 60 on the denominator so you will get 60 in all the denominators